Morning, lovely people. We are so, so excited because we are in the final stages of the preparation to pour the roof beam on our future little home. So, let's use today to finish most of the things I think which we need to finish. <laughs> Hello everyone, we are Andres and Giedre. We spend years and years dreaming and planning on how we can quit and leave boring and meaningless city life behind and live more sustainable, healthier, slower paced life in the countryside. And in 2022 our dreams came true. We sold our home in the UK and set off to sunny central Portugal. It wasn't plain sailing from the beginning. Buying our off-grid homestead cost us a lot of patience and time. Follow our journey from the very beginning and we really hope it will inspire someone else to make that choice as life is just too short for nine to five work to pay bills routine. And yes, we do regret one thing about our journey. It's a fact we haven't started it earlier. Uh, so how do you think? Is it both side walls, that, well the ring beam on the both side walls is level in perspective of each other? Of course it's not. <laughs> the life will be too simple and boring. Um, the part of ring beam on the new building, on the kitchen, when we are putting the other the gable from the other side, somehow I haven't even seen it. We pushed the whole frame a little bit outwards. Um, so from this corner up to here, the discrepancy is about 10 centimeters. The ring beam itself will be well is 30 centimeters wide. The wall plate will be 
11 or 12 centimeters wide. So we have quite a lot of play to level both wall plates on both side walls. That's a good news. And this part is level? Yeah. The other thing, I read a comment yesterday um, that it would be way quicker not to concrete the rods into the ring beam the rods on which the wall plate will be sitting it will be quicker to drill the holes and glue them in um, no, I'm still after a little challenge we're gonna concrete them in uh, that way we don't need to use that um, expensive whatever you call it, a glue, chemical glue um, only got one tube one tube I don't think is gonna be enough for so many bolts so we're gonna concrete them in, we're gonna measure nicely and concrete them in the other thing, the wall plates will be the same length as the rafters, so probably about 3 meters long so we'll need almost three of them on one wall so as it's not gonna be the long piece probably maybe it's gonna be a little bit easier to level it So the rods which I bought are one meter again We'll slice them in half, bend the ends And the job done <laughs> And you can go on the roof and fit them in But, not taking any chances guys To use this near Mimosas or Eucalyptus It's a big no-no So I'm gonna cut them inside the swimming pool why don't you use the one with water? Because the tools are electrical. Uh, maybe you should risk it. Is this safe enough now? <laughs> yes. For it to sit in a concrete better, we can even put a nut on top. Don't go nuts. <coughs> yes, there was another comment about overdoing it. <laughs> but you love overdoing it, yes, aren't you? Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
still nine o'clock. Are you filming already? Right guys, the day have came to put a wall plate fixings into our future ring beam. Um, because I'm a person who loves to overdo it, I put two only 50 centimeters in between on the corner. I'll do the same with the other corners and then probably I'm gonna space them about a meter apart, maybe one meter twenty. Um, I was consulting my friend in the UK. You know who you are. Uh, he's a manager in a building company. He knows all that stuff. So back in the UK, the regulations are for one story building in England where it's not so windy uh, those fixings has to be every two meters in scotland every one meter 25 i think and yeah as we'll have to overdo it we'll put it every one meter can get quite windy in here even we live in a valley but all that side behind you is open uh, yeah that side not that much Let's crack on. I guess even for the heat level like me, this weather is getting a little bit too much. So we would like to invite you guys to go with us, sit down uh, in our eucalyptus grove 
and uh, we'll answer a few questions of yours. Let's go. So, so guys, <laughs> <laughs> welcome to our holiday place, <laughs> just behind the house. <laughs> so our holiday plans were a little bit delayed. Uh, the truck developed problem. We cannot drive more than probably 30, 40 kilometers. It just starts overheating, and um, at the moment there is no budget to fix it. So. I think we'll go to the seaside next year. And now your questions, guys. Uh, G is responsible for answering all the comments. Um, okay, not uh, questions. <laughs> comments under the video. And um, she prepared some of the, some of them. Yes. Shall I? Please. <laughs> so, do you see Portugal as your forever home? Do you see? I think yes. I think yes as well. But if you're following us guys, you see a lot of plan changes. We do. We're not changing that plan. I'm not moving anymore. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> this is it. Okay. Okay? For about five years. <laughs> Um, and then, why Portugal? Why Castelo Branco region? It was just, um, I mean... Lucky coincidence, I think, because we were thinking about Spain. Yeah. And, and then... And then we seen a video by one of the estate agents uh, in this region. Yes. We we'll start comparing prices of the houses in Portugal. Not just the houses, the... The land, you know, what you can buy for itself. the money. Yeah, yeah. What it was cheaper in here. Our budget could buy way more here than in Spain. Mm -hmm. How many years we spent in the UK? Yeah. Uh, I arrived to the UK in 2003, and G G basically came about six months after. So 2004, I think, the beginning of 2004 it was. So. From 2003 2004 up to 2020, so that's about 19 years, 18, 19 years we spent in the UK. Garden area around our house, did we done it or was it there already? The three terraces were formed already and uh, even on the first viewing of the property when we came, came here end of July 2022 that was the first time we've seen the property it still actually had some tomatoes growing on the second terrace remember mm -hmm. so the previous owner even he, he sold the property uh, he was um, allowed I mean to to garden here because he lives just locally in the village so he was growing some stuff there already um, and probably that was one of the buying things uh, that... Uh, it was garden already. Yeah, yeah. the garden, the terraces were already ready-made. Uh, there's still a lot of work to get them function properly. The ditch which goes alongside the terraces needs to be cleaning. And uh, actually, let me tell you what, guys. I remember one comment. Uh, probably one of the new subscribers was asking if we can do the property tour. Um, after thinking, yeah, I think it's a good idea. Uh, we can not only show the property itself, we can uh, show, make a video of what we made on the property since moving in. Mm. Um, I mean, we can put a drone up, uh, make a screenshots of the garden terraces, uh, mark them in relations of the house, of the caravan, where they are. 
Um, be very useful. Yeah. Yeah, good so idea. So I think that's the plan for probably two, three weeks from now. Uh, we can make a video about it. We'll see. Uh, the other thing is, I know a lot of guys you expecting us to start pouring the ring beam on Monday, which is after tomorrow. But I really doubt it's gonna happen because the weather changed so much. The forecast was that it's gonna be cloudy, 29 degrees, and now it's back to 35 and sunny. So, next question about water: Which water do we use for drinking, and where from? We use uh, water from the uh, village fountain, uh, not our village, the next village. Aquash. Okay guys, uh, even the camera starts overheating. It just switched off. Or maybe it was too boring. Or maybe it was too <laughs> boring. So let us know in, your, in the comments guys, uh, if you would like a video tour again of our property with explanations what we've done, where we've done, why we've done things. And, uh, and our plans, what and we're our planning to do. Plans for the future. Yes. And we'll see you in the next one. Have a good weekend, guys. Good we'll see you in a midweek's video. Bye. Bye. Let me just show you a little bit, guys, what effort it takes to edit the video. The only way I can run the laptop is putting it on two sticks placing the fan in front that way the laptop doesn't overheat otherwise it's just becoming slow and it starts shutting it off so yeah lovely weather in central portugal